Well, I want to go over to London now because we've got to check in on this court case with uh, Prince Harry. It hasn't been going too well for him. Uh, and I've got to show you some of this. You might have seen some of this on the other programs, but Sky News UK are uh, doing these reenactments. You can't film in the court, but so they're getting the transcripts and they're getting a an actor to play Prince Harry. We've done this in Australia before with royal commissions, but uh, have a look. Here's the summary, really, of uh, Prince Harry's arguments played by the fake Prince Harry. Uh, the fact that payments were referenced to Project Harry is I incredibly disturbing. Yeah. It's, it's the level of surveillance I was under was quite something. A lot of missed calls that lasted one second. I remember a lot of people asking me, did you get my voicemail? But I do not remember how consistent it was. But when I was told about the fact that this was hacking, it, it all made sense. Yeah, Oliver, I think he gets that sort of dopiness perfectly, doesn't he, the actor? <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's good. He's good, this actor. He's, I thought it was Harry. It was almost a double take. But if you want to, you know, pour the bucket on your own family, you want to write a book about it, you want mm. to do a Netflix series about it, and then say, please, everybody, leave us alone. I'm protecting my wife's legacy here. Leave Megan alone. She's, you know, misunderstood. I mean, Harry, you can't have it both ways, mate. You've got to, you know, if you want to play in the pit, you've got to, you know, play by the rules. And uh, this is just not going to work for the PR machine that is Harry and Megan, unfortunately. And, you know, he wants to come across here as the victim, but unfortunately, he's really stirred the pot with his own family and he's really divisive, Chris. Yeah, and it looks like this has uh, backfired on him, this court case, doesn't it? No matter what the court finds, just the publicity around it just uh, echoes exactly what it Oliver's is. been saying. It's embarrassing, actually. And look, they say we just want to be treated like everyone else, then go get a job like everyone else. I want you to go and work in the supermarket, go become a tradie, go and be like everyone else actually add some value to the community in which you're leveraging off all of this publicity because really all they're doing is um, becoming influencers you know they just need an Instagram account and sell some <laughs> products he could go and fly choppers when, when he can he go fly choppers to the oil rigs he could do something well for he's a now living. an author so you know <laughs> all he wants to do is spill his guts about his private life and then complain about it at the same time and boast about killing people oh it is insane um, and uh, but we've all we've not had enough of it we'll keep laughing at, at it as it plays out